Hey everyone, welcome to Two Guys Tech. Today we're going to be working on a 94 Chevy Silverado, replacing the tonneau cover shocks. We're going to go over taking off the old shocks, installing the new shocks, and I'm going to show you where to buy them. So if this is something you're interested in, stick around. Okay, so we pulled the truck in the garage. We're gonna get started on the shocks. Uh, first, I wanna show you that the shocks that are on there now are just completely dead. So I'm gonna raise it up and, and drop it just so you can see. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna let go of it and it just drops. I caught it. But if I didn't catch it, it would just slam. So that's why we're replacing them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this side. Okay, so to take these off this ball and socket, there's a little wire retention ring here. And what you have to do is find the little lip and just pop it off like that and then it just slides out of a hole. So there's the little retention wire. Okay, so I went ahead and removed the retention clip from the bottom part of the shock and I'm going to try to twist this, uh, pull this in a twisting motion and see if I can pop it off that little ball there. Okay, so what I'm going to do instead of trying to twist it is I'm just going to try to pop it off with a dead blow hammer. Try the top first here. There we go. That was easy. And now, I'm pretty sure I can just Twist this to get it off. There. Okay, so there's the first one off. Pretty easy. So my shocks have a number on them. And uh, I'm going to show you later how to, if you don't have a number with a sticker, how to measure these and get the right shock for your tonneau cover. Okay, so before I install the new shocks, I want to clean these ball joints up and lube them so they won't rust. So I'm just going to use a, uh, a spray oil like WD-40. I'll just spray both of them. Actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and spray all four of them. And then just take a rag and wipe them off. You can see they're, they're pretty dirty. Yeah, so that's just grimy gunk that would interfere with uh, the raising and lowering of the tonneau cover. Okay, so the new shock uh, like the other one, it has the little retaining clip you pop out. I don't know if you can see inside of that, but there's actually oil. They put oil inside or grease, so you don't have to worry about greasing the ball sockets. All right, so now we're ready to install the shock. I'm just going to put it over the joint there. Just tap it on. and then put the retaining clip in. Probably couldn't see that, but it just goes in the same way it comes out. So as you can see, the, the shock's not gonna line up. So what I'm gonna have to do is raise the tonneau cover up so I can fit this onto the ball socket. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that with one hand. Okay, so there it clicked on. All right, so same technique on the other side. Just 
tap it on. It's probably the trickiest part right here. There it's on. Now I'll just put the retaining clips in and we'll see if these work. Obviously, we need to do some work on the rubber molding. That's going to be our next project, and I'm probably going to make a video on how to do that too. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to reuse this or uh, buy some new stuff. Amazon sells this brand new. And this is just a uh, rubber seal for camper shells. So I might try to glue it up with some new um, seal adhesive. Um, if that doesn't work, I might just buy the, the new seal and uh, go with that. Okay, so here we go. We'll give it a pull down and that's actually pretty smooth and not that hard to pull. That's about halfway and it's still supporting the weight. And it just closed nice. So now I'm going to open it. Hopefully it'll be a little easier. So at first you're kind of lifting the weight, but right there I can feel the shocks open it up. So that is nice. That's a huge improvement for 35 bucks. It's well worth it. And the old shocks were um, 20 plus years old. So I'm hoping these will last at least 10, 15. So that shows the install of these, pretty simple. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you on Amazon which shocks I bought, and I'll give you a link to those um, down below. Okay, so I have uh, the old shock here and the new shock here. And if, like I said, if you don't have a number to go by, which I went by the number and the length, so the way you measure these is you go from the center of the hole to the center of the hole. We're looking at 26 and a quarter. And that's exactly what the new shock is. So if you measure that and you're not, you have a number, that's the best way to go. If you don't have a number, measuring it, getting them the exact same length or close within like a quarter of an inch is the best way to go. All right, to purchase these shocks, all you have to do is go to Amazon, type in the model number of your old shock, verify that the length is correct, and the ends are the same. They make several different types of connectors. You want to make sure they're exactly the same as yours or they won't work. That's all there is to it. I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope this helped anybody that had this same type of project. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and have a great day.